So now that we have been talking about classes, we break down into two separate types. We get static and instance. Well, when we think about static, if we think about uh, how we've written out almost every program so far, we've designed it with a public static void main method. Now the big focus here was on that oh, the big focus here was on this guy, this static. So what does that static mean? Well it means that it's shared across all versions or instances of the class. So every time I implement a class, a static variable means that there is only one and only one amongst all of them, almost like a hive mind. Uh, say for example, I had uh, made a, for our student class, there was a, a static int count. And inside it, and it started out as zero, and inside, every time I did new student, every time I did that, count just went up by one. Count plus plus. Well, what happens is that count, that one variable, that is unique to that is a uh, shared across all versions of the st the student uh, implementations. So if I make thirty students, count is going to equal student dot count is going to evaluate out to thirty because it kept count each time. And we see this actually a lot. Uh, say for example, if we just think about for our sake, the math class. Something as simple as the math class has math.py. Well, how math.py is actually built is that's actually a static constant, meaning it's shared amongst all versions of math and it is not changing. I can't change it at all. So suddenly I'm able to do, you know, that's built out as final static uh, double pi 3.141592 something like that. This is a static constant meaning I can pull it only from that method, from the method itself. I can't create a new math. I cannot do that. But I can, I can do something like math.py. And we see this a lot. Now we also get the idea of what's known as an instant variable. An instance variable is the exact opposite. Or an instance method is the exact opposite. How it operates is suddenly now I have a unique property. Again, if we think about the students. Uh, student, each one of them had first name. This was considered an instance, or sorry, this was considered a class variable. Variable. Which means it changed from version. It changed from instance. It, this was always going to be unique to the instance. So I have tons of those. That's actually where something like get name, get name from our previous video, 
it was unique unique even though it did the same behavior with every class it was unique it was going to be a unique uh, response every single time 